Good day friends. Today's video is Donald Trump is the final trumpet when God's judgment is coming. It's right in front of our eyes and we do not see it at all. You know what? Uh, so people like watching soapies, especially the ladies. And then they said, yeah, no, this one is going to die or that one is going out of the uh, out of the box but I must tell you that Bible prophecy is even much better it's even more exciting than uh, than your soapies uh, however before I go on to the uh, prophetic drama uh, let me just quickly share you Donald Trump's birth certificate and how accurate the uh, eclipse was on the exact time when he was born. So let's just quickly then. There you see Donald Trump's uh, birth certificate. And here you can look at the time. It is uh, the date is June 14, 1946. Born at 10.55. And he was born at Jamaica Hospital. You can see it. It's Fred C. Trump was the father. And yeah, and here's the city, city of New, New York. Everything is uh, stated there. The Bureau of Records is all stated there. So there you can see that his birth certificate is quite authentic. Uh, Donald John Trump, certificate 7624. Well, some would make a number, a prophetic number, even about that number. But his birth certificate is more authentic than somebody else we know about. <laughs> you can only guess who that is. Yeah, you can uh, go over and we can look at uh, the calculated duration between the two dates. And um, the date here is 14th of the 6th. That is between the time when Israel, between when, uh, the time when Israel uh, became a nation. That was on the 14th of the 5th, 1948, and this was on the 14th of the 6th, 1948. Uh, that doesn't seem to be so clear. But nevertheless, uh, there is a result of 700 days between the dates, exactly 700 days. You can you see uh, the 7 the, the sevens in, um, in, Trump's, in Trump's, Trump's life, I believe. Uh, God is God is telling us a story there. So uh, there you can see it is exactly uh, seven hundred days between the two dates of his birth and the birth of of Israel. And he was born on a Friday, a fourteenth of May, as well. Also on a, on a, on a Friday, both was on the, just on the beginning of of Shabbat. And also at the same time frame, for Friday also on, on Shabbat. Yeah, we can uh, see the uh, blood moon precisely at the time of his birth. Here you can see the moon, uh, the, the position of the moon is just going about to the peri umbra. And then the umbra, the peri umbra is the, uh, the shadow of the earth. And um, the sun is just behind the earth, behind the earth. So here you can see New York, city of New York. That's exactly the position there. And yeah, then you can look, that is the position of the moon and the move is just about to enter into the uh, periumbra of the earth. And look closely. We go back to the birth certificate and then you can see the exact date is 10 uh, 54 and then what we do we enter the time time frame i hope you can see it that look like it's just outside of the position uh exactly 10 55 and that is a time frame 10 54 that is a time frame that the moon went behind the the peri umbra of the earth so there you have it, people. 
that is the exact time of the uh, lunar eclipse. And at the time that the lunar eclipse happened, uh, it was at Israel, you can position the, the, the time of Israel. I just want to show you uh, that it was the sun already set, set in Israel. If you go look at Israel right there now, and look at the point there, you can see it's already night in Israel. If you turn it a bit backwards to a few hours ahead, then you can see that it has Israel. There you can see it is night already in Israel. So that is exact time uh, 10 54 that Donald Trump was born. Very accurate. So, so let us ca uh, carry on with today's soapy, not the soapy, the prophetic drama. Yes, and 2000 and 2017, uh, some of the watchmen, watchmen believe that Donald Trump will not will not be the 45th president, but we were all wrong about it. We said that according to prophecy, Obama will have a third term. And one of the main reasons why I said that was Jesus' prophecy. You know, he said, this generation, he refers to the fig tree, shall not pass away. Now, my interpretation was that it was 70 years, and that's one, that's the main reason why I thought that it will be, it will be the final year, 2017 will be the final year. Then also, I believe that 2017, 2017 was the final jubilee, but having said that, that is, that is not the final jubilee. So, uh, yes, in 2017, we believe that Donald Trump, Donald Trump uh, would not make it as the 45th president. So, in this post, this is a video that I created then in 2000 and 2000 and yeah, 2017. That was 23rd January 2017. Now the inauguration date was the 21st, and I was watching the inauguration, and uh, I have to say I was disappointed that uh, Trump, Donald Trump became the 45th president because I wanted my interpretation. To be true, I wanted Jesus to come. I'm telling you, really. And I'm sure many of you are also disappointed. And then in this, this video, I said Obama is returning. He will have a third term. Well, we're going to see about that, whether he will have a third term or not. But, yeah, in this video, let me, I said it, let me put, put back there. I, I said it, it was 2017, 2017 would be the coming of the Lord. Um, but in this month of 21st January 2017, both Obama, Donald Trump and Obama, Trump was, Trump was 70 years, 7 months, 7 days, and that is triple 7, and Obama was 666, six, six months in that same, uh, same month. But uh, let's go to a better picture where we can see that uh, a month, but it's not on that picture there, it is on this one here. So both Donald Trump, both Donald Trump and Obama, yeah, yeah, in that same month, and I believe God speaks through numbers. And that is God's final warning uh, concerning these two men. Trump was 70 years, 7 months, 7 days. So what does this mean? I believe it is God's ju uh, judgment that is coming. Daniel's 70th uh, uh, week, the final 7 years of Jacob's trouble. And 
And that would be about 2020. Now I'm going to prove that to you, that it's 2020. Obama was also 660 months, 666. What does this mean? The Antichrist is coming in then in 2020. Satan coming down, Revelation 12, verse 12. And you will not be able to buy or sell without his Obamacare, Revelation 13. Having said that, now, the scripture that the Lord gave me, that was in... Um, we got it here. Uh, yeah, it was Revelation uh, 17, verse 10. You know, I was watching the inauguration on the 21st of January 2017. And uh, yeah, th then I was disappointed, as I said. And I seek the Lord concerning what is the answer. Where did we go wrong? And then I received this scripture, Revelation 17, 10, and they are seven kings, five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come. And when he come, he must continue a short space, a uh, short space. Now, this short space is the key here. We're coming to, uh, we're coming to that, that, uh, uh, to the answer concerning that short space. Trump is the seventh king. And there are seven kings. Five are fallen and one is Obama. And the other is not yet come, which is Trump. And when he cometh 20th January, he must continue a short space. Trump's short presidency. And the beast that was Obama and is not president now, even he is the eighth Obama returning and is of the seventh and goes into perdition, Revelation 17, 10 to 12. Now, as I said, Bible prophecy always interpret itself. Now, did you know there are seven revelations of scripture for every scripture? Uh, there are seven revelations for every scripture. Now, uh, that's supplied here in this instance. Now, and there are seven kings, five have fallen. Now, let's put it to you, why do I start with Jimmy Carter? There are actually 60, 64 presidents before, uh, from, uh, from 65, I'm told, uh, Donald Trump. So, if you put it like, why do you start with Jimmy Carter? It's, you must understand it's the, Jesus said, Jesus said, uh, uh, that is in Daniel, Daniel actually said that the, 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 these, the books is sealed up until the end. It's sealed up until the end. And Jimmy Carter is the one, Jimmy Carter is the one that started the process. Jimmy Carter wants a two-state uh, solution. So it started with the last seven process from 1948. It was Bill, it was Bush Senior, it was Bill Clinton, it was Bush Junior, uh, Bush Junior, and uh, six. The one is which is Obama, and the other seven is not yet come to Trump. Well, he did come with, uh, on the twentieth. He must continue a short space. Trump's short presidency and the beast that was. Obama and is not president now, even he is the eighth, uh, uh, the eighth Obama returning and is of the seven and goes into the perdition, you know. So let's go to scripture there. Um, Bible say here, that is in Revelation 17, 9, and here is the mind which hath wisdom. Use wisdom. The, head, the seven heads are seven mountains. Now, people will come and say seven mountains is not seven precedents. What does mountains represent? Remember, mountain in the and dreams and visions, and this is a vision, by the way. These mountains represent, can represent God, it can represent leaders, it can represent countries. 
and uh, yeah, it can represent a person. And it says on the woman who sitteth, who is the woman that sitteth, you know, there she is. There he is. We all know it's Lady 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 Liberty. So it does apply. It applies to our generation. So yeah, and there are seven kings, five are fallen and one is, and the other is not yet. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. Now, this is the answer. There are another two, another two world empires coming just after the rapture of the bride at the start of the, uh, the, the Daniel 70 week. There are another two that is coming. Oh, some people are surprised they didn't know that. And that can also be be uh, uh, the word for that. And some already mentioned to me, yeah, no, it represents Egypt, Assyria, Babylon, Media, Persia, Greece. Yes, it could even mean them too. But prophecy has always a double fulfillment. And yeah, as I said, there are uh, more than one revelation concerning, concerning its scripture. And I'm not adding to the word, Bible, the word say use and here is wisdom. Here is wisdom, and the one who uh, and the one who is was Rome, and the one who is the two that is yet to come, which is the seventh. The seventh already have come. That was the second second leg of the, the Roman Empire. Well, there are seven and eight is still to come in our last generation. And here is a picture, I'm not going to give it to you, this will be the next video that I'm going uh, uh, to make, who is the seventh and the eighth king. And it's not what you think, some people say it is the revived Roman Empire, it's not going to be the revived Roman Empire, but these are the two legs, the two empires that are coming, it will be first uh, uh, the, uh, uh, Europe, and then the second second uh, uh, empire that is coming afterwards, and that is what Revelation 17, uh, 10 to 11 is referring to as well. So please uh, do uh, subscribe. Uh, this will be the next uh, video. I'm not going to do that today, as uh, time is uh, quite short. The I would like to keep my videos short. Uh, the most important thing for uh, for YouTube is for you to watch the complete video. It's not, it's not about the view, the amount of views, but it is about watching the complete uh, video. And I do want you to watch the complete video. Okay. Now we're coming to the conclusion the conclusion of this video. I'm keeping you in suspense. Donald Trump, Donald Trump, the final Trump, and I believe he is the final Trump, and you're going to see it now. Remember I said to you, the short space, the short space is the key. Now just let's look at Donald, uh, Donald Trump's uh, inauguration. While watching the inauguration, I want you to take note that Donald Trump mentioned the former presidents, something that never occurred in previous previous inaugurations. And then secondly, watch uh, President Carter as well. I state earlier, earlier in the video, why do you mention the last seven kings? It started with uh, Carter. He was the first king, he was the first president to start the uh, peace, peace process with Israel and died to division from the land. And also in Camp David, Camp David he made a deal with Egypt. And uh, the land that Egypt, uh, not Israel, Egypt, I mean Israel conquered uh, from uh, Egypt, that land was had to be given back. And uh, President Carter was instrumental in that. It's an honor to be able to introduce for the first time ever anywhere the 45th 
President of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump. Did I get that one right? Chief Justice Roberts, President Carter, President Clinton, President Bush, President Obama, fellow Americans, and people of the world, thank you. President Carter, President Clinton, President Bush, President Obama, fellow Americans, and people of the world, thank you. President Cannon is followed by President Reagan, the second president, and then President Bush, and then followed by President Clinton, and then, of course, by President Bush Jr. And then the sixth king, mm, President Obama. And then lastly, we have the seventh king, President Trump. President Jimmy Carter. He's a member of a very small club, an elder statesman and humanitarian. Jimmy Carter is just one of five former living U.S. presidents and ahead of the current president Donald Trump's inaugural overseas trip, the former occupant of the Oval Office has some advice. Well, I, I think he should put in the forefront of all of his discussions with foreign leaders the, the maintenance of peace in the world, which is one of the prime human rights. I think peace and human rights is a good thing to... Uh, emphasize in every country, Palestinians also have to be willing to recognize Israel as a, as a nation, living side by side with them in peace. So when he... Uh, to support the overall concept, which has been expressed quite well, I think, uh, in, in the so-called uh, uh, Arab Initiative, which calls for the restoration of uh, Palestinian rights. Advice then from a president pass on the very pressing challenges of life in the Oval Office. Becky Anderson, CNN, Abu Dhabi. And now finally, we are concluding Donald Trump, the final Trump, when God's judgment is coming. Donald Trump is the final trumpet when God's judgment is coming. I just want to take you to that scripture once again. The scripture here, it says, Revelation uh, 17, 10, and there were seven kings, five has fallen. We have seen them now in the video. And one is, and the other is uh, not yet come. And when he cometh, he becometh, that is Donald Trump, he must continue a short space of time. A short space of time. Do you know? How long is that short space of time? Come, let's see. The short space of time, the short space of time is three and a half, 3.5 years for each, for each empire. It's 3.5 years. And it will be the same for Donald Trump. The first empire as I said earlier, which, which is not the Roman Empire, it's, it's not the revived Roman Empire, but it is, I'm just going to say it first, I'm going to steal that within the next video, it is the European, uh, uh, European section, uh, West, uh, West uh, Europe, and then the last one, the final, and that will be the seventh, seventh uh, kingdom, and then the eighth kingdom, Will be the area of Turkey, uh, the, the 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 previous Ottoman Empire. But having said that, each 
uh, each one of them uh, just uh, is just for three and a half years, with a short space of three and a half years. So that is the limit of the short space of time. I want to show you something else. The short space of time is three and a half years. Uh, three and a half years. So when will that be ending? From twenty first. 21st January 2017 we coming to the plus minus 2020 July June when his term will be over according to the according to the word of God so I just want to show you something in the stellarium and the moon, the moon was exactly in Ophicus. Let's go to his inauguration, 2017. And then we find it was Saturn that was on his date. Let me, uh, on his uh, inauguration date. Let's go there at the first. Uh, inauguration date was 21st, 2000. And then we find Satan. Satan was still in Ophicus. Now, what does Ophicus represent? Ophicus, Ophicus represents Michael the Archangel wrestling with the serpent, which is, uh, which is Satan himself. And there's a war going on there. And Satan himself represents Satan. Okay. Now, exactly 3.5 years. And this, this is just amazing, just amazing. <laughs> exactly on 3.5 years from the date of his inauguration, there is a solar eclipse, people. He was born on a lunar eclipse and exactly 3.5, 3.5 years Let's go there, 2020, uh, that is on the 6th month, 6th month on the 21st, um, that is 2020, we got that right, it's right in Orion, the sun is right in Orion, now just let's reverse backwards and then you will see there's a solar eclipse taking place right at 6, 47, 45 over Africa and the Arab nations. Here we see the sun uh, is uh, in Orion. You know what Orion means? Orion means the coming Redeemer. The coming Redeemer. The coming Redeemer. And here we find Gemini represent the bride and the bridegroom. And here Mercury is in Gemini. Mercury is the announcer. Mercury announcing that Jesus is the Redeemer is coming to take his bride home. Here is Taurus. Venus re uh, represent morning star. It is right here in Taurus. The two horns here represent uh, uh, Taurus represent Joseph. Joseph, the two horns represent Manasseh and Ephraim. Ep America is Ephraim, people. Ephraim. How amazing is this? That's where the where the uh, where the uh, eclipse taking place. Isn't that remarkable? Exactly, and then uh, could that be the day? Could that be another 9-11? Could that be the, the dreams and visions that people have in Donald being assassinated? Could that be the day, time, that trouble will start in America? I know many of you say the time is too, it's much too long for that. But I believe God gave us that time of grace to win souls. This, 2017 is not 
the final jubilee people. And that is why I say, say that Donald Trump is the final Trump. That is another confirmation. Psalm 90 verse 10 is another confirmation. The generation is eight, 70 years and an extra 10, uh, then you fly away. But Jesus said that that 80 years shall not pass away. So here is another confirmation, people. So here is the eclipse, uh, what the eclipse will look like near the maximum point there. And I can play that for you. There. Here's the sun, the altitude is 66, and the direction is 103. And here you can see the eclipse taking place. What amazing porn! On the, a lunar, a lunar eclipse, and then three and a half years into his inauguration, from his inauguration date, there is another solar eclipse exactly on 20, 21st of June, and here we can see the path, the path of the solar eclipse from Africa and, and over Israel. Just over Israel, it will be quite, it will be quite dumb that at that high time. But right over the Arab, over the Arab nations, and over Africa, this is a direct path, direct path of the solar eclipse, and there you can see it as well. From the United Arabs, right here is the path of the of the, of the solar eclipse. There you have it, people. To conclude, uh, watch the following uh, videos, the 120 Jubilee, the final Jubilee, uh, question mark 2007-2018, it's not the final Jubilee. 2027-28 is the final Jubilee. We have 10 years to go, 9 years left. We have 2 years of grace left until the rapture and tribulation people. So, what's this video? This video confirms confirms uh, the video that I just showed you right now. And here is the other videos that I would like you to uh, uh, watch. Um, these other videos. Um, yeah, the pre, uh, mid and post tribulation video. Watch these videos, people. It's... It's very educational and this is important video, it's Psalm 90, Psalm um, 90, 10 confirms the rapture, confirms the 120 Jubilee on uh, 2027, 28 AD, and yeah, in the 70th anniversary will usher in the next uh, will be usher in the next 10 years so please press uh, uh, subscribe uh, press the 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 alarm button for the annunciation and even if you can't uh, don't receive it come back to the uh, to the to the web page and watch the videos thank you and be blessed